Yeah, umekuwa mdodao. Natumai mpofuwa mpo salama popote mlipo na popote ambapo mnatutezama mkiwa na mnatusikiza mkiwa. This is FM show na jina langu ni Felix Mwenda. Yeah, we all know that our leaders have been terrorizing us for a very long time and one video that has currently been making headlines all over the country ni video kutokea kwa binti flani ambaye alipata kuongea she spoke out a truth and mostly she confronted the leaders from the uh, uh, the the Rift Valley region that is the former governor and now senator Johnson Mandago uh, together with senator Beneni bona governor and somebody else too so these people have been a subject of discussion all over social media the whole day na ni jambo mbalo limewaacha wengi wakipata kuongea that generation z about your generation ya kwetu inahitaji kuwa na watu kama hao na vijana kama hao because we have a lot of youth that are languishing in poverty binti huyu alisimama wakati wa mkutano ambao ulikuwa umehudhuriwa pamoja na gavana seneta na watu wengine kutokea katika serikali ya muungano wa Kenya kwanza ambao ni serikali ya rais wa sasa wa jamhuri ya Kenya William Samoei Ruto and the girl spoke out calling out Baroroti together with uh, Bona Mandago asking them if they have ever known of any depressant doses because the depression that youths are undergoing in this country is so much and that The youths are uh, the youths are under depression uh, mostly uh, this being the reason that wengi wana makazi wengi wanaumia wengi wanateseka and so i have seen uh, many people come out uh, and let me say mostly youths and mostly celebrities in our country calling out and looking for the seed brave girl that spoke out against the impunity that we are facing in this country but let me ask You have saved this one that was very brave to speak out. How many youths are out there? Who you been tell ko accuse uji? She is a graduate with a degree. She was supposed to go to Canada, but sababu familia aina uwezo, she was forced to go ahead and sell uji so that she can make a living. Sijui tunaelewana lakini sijui tunavutana, tunavuta waya hapa. Kwa sababu this is the generation that we are here. Most of us tunalia tunaomba makazi atupati but one thing not that we are not qualified watoto wa magavana wamefaulu watoto wa maseneta wamefaulu kwa sababu gani because for them they have money for them they have a reason to go there they can beat their chest because they have somebody that will back them up no matter what and the lady spoke with a lot of pain even expressing that she doesn't fear for her life anymore because yo Mkuja mniue nikiwa nishaongea ukweli before nijiue mimi mwenyewe. No, we need such youths in our current demonstration. And she can make a very good leader of our current generation Z that is currently suffering a lot. You know, Manda go is somebody that amemaliza kuvai for governorship then akarudi kuitisha senator so that he cannot miss out from power. You know the, the the taste of power is very sweet and that's why many of them are sticking into those offices with their houses seated down in offices but they are never delivering to the promises they made to us and today I have liked this girl with my life yeah today I have seen a youth come out calling out these people in public that she has given me a lot of courage to call out these leaders you know The, the, the president said in his serikali ya mahasla i don't know who the hustlers are the hustlers are not being given what they're supposed to be given because right now ruto has been in in mount kenya region and you can see some hood fools seated there wakipigania mchele na dengu na nyama saying that yo atujaiona serikali kama hii natupe serikali kama hii umbwa si mlikuwa mnakula mnakunywa maziwa ya nyayo you know you make people even get insulted with certain things which we are not supposed to be insulting you mm. it really baffles me it really it really irritates me when sometimes i sit down and get to analyze a certain story and realize the magnitude that this story has in our day to day life because this is what happens to us every day we cry out we call upon the government whenever we try to make a coin they want to deduct from that coin the taxes are unbearable it's a fucked up government it's a hit man it's a man hit man society mm? but whatever man 
we hope that this lady gets the best she gets the best support she get the best uh, help from the people that have called out i've seen ogo bina calling out on her. i've seen eric omondi calling out on her. i've seen mike sonko too trying to help her yeah what is your take i want to hear from you leave a comment on the comment section see you in the next video this is fm update show